Hello everyone, my name is Isabel and I am a dental hygienist in New York City and today I have decided to film this video because lots of my patients are asking me about how safe it really is to go to the dentist these days. And um, I would like to start with the following. Dentistry is considered to be an elective procedure um, these days, which means if nothing is bothering you, you are free not to go. But I would like to um, ensure you that it is actually safe and um, it's not more dangerous. I would say even it is more dangerous would be to take a subway ride these days than going to the dentist because us being a medical professionals, we make sure we follow all the guidelines of the CDC and there are constant updates on American Dental Association and Dental Hygiene Association and we make sure we follow all the protocols. So just few things um, for you to know that we have been doing. Um, that would be, of course, to maintain the proper level of sanitizing and sterilization, everything. We're even increasing it, um, which involves um, wiping everything extra with the, um, with the products. The good thing that this virus is not that difficult to kill. So just by wiping and washing the hands, basically, you can keep things um, pretty clean. Um, we make sure um, that all the patients that are entering our office are washing their hands. Another thing that we have been doing is um, um, hydrogen peroxide rinses. So before any work, the patient um, rinses their mouth with the hydrogen peroxide. Before confirming the patient, um, the receptionist makes sure that um, the person is feeling well and there has not been any travels within a few weeks, just because, of course, we want to be safe as well. So these are some of the things that we are doing as the um, medical professionals. Another thing I would like to um, point to you is that... Um, uh, of course, you're the one who's going to be making a decision to go or not to go. And if you are fearful, maybe it is better to stay home because I personally believe that uh, we attract whatever we are fearing. So if you don't feel like it's a good idea, if your guts are telling you that it's not a good idea, maybe stay home. However, I have patients who ask me like, Isabel, like I'm feeling well. I mean, I want to come. Should I come? And I say, yeah, definitely come on my end, on our end will be definitely um, our best to treat you. And um, I would say even for the cleaning perspective, I think that's a good idea. Because if you think about it, um, mouth is the dirtiest place in our body. Tons of bacteria, tons of viruses and fungi, everything. And um, actually... A nice cleaning will help your immune system, will help your body to concentrate on something more important right now than to fight your gum disease at this point. So definitely a cleaning is going to be a great idea for your immune system, for your general well-being. And one more thing just for, for the end, um, I would like to share some of the things that I do at home with my family just to prevent and keep us all safe. Of course, that would be to um, keep everything clean, wipe and um, wash the hands, all of that. But also, um, I would like to point your attention on what you're eating right now. I advise you to eat good food filled with nutrients, not sugary, not uh, overly processed food, but really pay attention at what you're eating right now. Um, take vitamin C, please stay away from all the artificial vitamin C. Make sure you get a good one, like the one I'm getting from iHerb, the liposomal vitamin C, the one that's really bioavailable for your body to absorb. Um, take the um, the um, supplements for immune system like I'm giving my son some for with the elderberry and um, apple cider vinegar like some uh, health healthy stuff that there's plenty of that um, on iHerb so that would be it and I hope this information was helpful um, if you do have a dental visit soon I will be happy to see you and stay safe bye bye